everyone. I am at Baywater Farms in Salisbury, Maryland at a sunflower field that Baywater Farms has planted for the last couple of years for the public to enjoy. And it's very appreciated that they do this. I know the local photographers make this a spot to shoot every year now, portrait and landscape. And uh, right now I'm just trying to find a composition. There's so many sunflowers out here that um, trying to isolate something to give a subject to the, the picture is my goal. Uh, I'm on about my seventh sunflower now. Looking for some, looking for one that's uh, that's got a good shape to it, that the leaves aren't damaged on it, and um, that's just got a good look to it, a good clean sunflower. I mean, there are thousands and thousands of them out here right now, and uh, there's plenty to choose from. It's uh, well, about a minute. It's going to be sunrise. However, it's a very cloudy day today, um, so I don't expect the the sky to light up or anything but the sky does have some texture to it which makes the of course the pictures nice all right so i walked across the field a little bit more and there's just so many sunflowers out here and uh these sunflowers are look like they're in much better shape um oh i think i see another picture here in a second but uh, right now I'm just trying to get a little bit of the, the field and play. I got a little orange working off in the clouds in the distance. And uh, I'm just going to take this shot here. Right now I'm at F16, about a third of a second. I want to get a little bit more. This is going to be a wider shot. Um, got a B actually on the sunflower that I want in focus right now. And he's gone. We got a little bit more interest in the cloud. It's just, I find it difficult sometimes to get the composition correct, especially when it comes to the uh, landscape photography. Um, I consider myself more of a portrait photographer, and I'm just trying to learn this landscape stuff um, because. You know, sometimes it's harder and harder to get people to get in front of your camera. And um, I love photography, so I just want to—I just want to shoot. I just want to practice my craft. So I'm picking up landscape photography and um, trying to find that—that that subject, something of interest. Because right now, I mean, there's thousands of sunflowers out here, and without some sort of isolation, something interesting. It's just another picture of a sunflower that you could take with your cell phone. Um, I'm trying to find that just that thing. So I keep moving my camera up and down and just trying to isolate something to make it look interesting. We got a very, very well constructed sunflower right here. Got a little guy over here. Got some texture and some color in the sky. Uh, at F16, I'm still gonna have blur in the background because I am, I would say, probably about a foot and a half from the, uh, the sunflower that's the main focus. So I'm still gonna have some blur in the background. I'm not going to stack this picture because um, there are power lines back there and there's also a irrigation system. The irrigation system could be a really good interest, um, but 
I just got the end of it and it just kind of looks weird. So I'm trying to make sure none of that's like too predominant. But man, if I could have had beautiful light on this, sun rays, oh, that would have been beautiful. Try a vertical composition here. Putting my focus point right on that flower I want in focus. And again, going up and down, because I really like the way that the sunflowers show there, but it also takes the interest away from the sunflower that, uh, that's in the foreground. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do in post is I'm just gonna darken down a little bit of this and just have a little bit, just a gentle, gentle vignette around that sunflower, just kind of brighten it up bring that sky down, get a little bit of a graduated um, darkness from the top. And just, I really love post-processing. I just love all aspects of photography. I just think that that's something. I'm gonna take you to this next shot I found. It's kind of cool. So here I am on my next shot, and I don't know if you guys can really see this in the picture, but there's a little blue flower just underneath the sunflower. Sunflower is absolutely beautiful itself, very well constructed, not a whole lot of damage to it. But that little blue flower just adds, like I said before, just that little bit of interest, something different. So I'm taking a few vertical compositions right now on an F16, about a fifth of a second, trying to shoot about a stop under exposed because that really brings out the clouds right now we're about two stops under right there so let's just uh we'll do a couple we'll see what comes out better but when you go under exposed you can really get the texture and the clouds in the sky and when you go a normal exposure obviously you have a great exposure of the the foreground element uh, but i like to go a about a stop under or so um, just to get that what I found is you can really bring up the shadows um, most of your data is actually stored in the highlights so you kind of want to shoot to the right a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and change this over to a landscape composition here make sure I lock down my camera because I've dropped it off the tripod a couple times. Not this one, but my old camera. For some reason, I would just not lock it down very well. Again, trying to find that composition up and down, up and down. Let me see. Oh, yeah. All these knobs. Some are loose, some are not. Let's zoom out a little bit. my focus point correct. I'm going to make it a little bit to the left because that other sunflower went in. And then I almost forgot about my little flower down there. Right. Try to get a little bit more of the sky. Right now I'm zoomed all the way out. I've got a 24 to 70 on the camera. I'm zoomed all the way out at 24 now. Again, about a stop underexposed. Really like that blue flower. I'll probably crop this one in a little bit in post. Let's see what we got. this sunflower here to focus on obviously the other sunflowers are pretty predominant in the screen but uh, 
this one was a nice clean sunflower and uh, though I didn't get a whole lot of the sky in um, I definitely wanted more of that however the clouds have kind of really muddied up a little bit and it just is kind of cloudy there's not a whole lot of texture there or color so focusing on this one sunflower I do have the sunflowers in the back blurred out pretty good going at f4 I think I might go ahead and up it to and eh, we'll go f16 we'll get some really good depth of field I'm going to slow down our shutter speed bring things back into perspective um, right now that would be an even um, exposure but I think I'm going to go about a stop under um, unfortunately you can see a power pole in the background there because we got a pretty deep depth of field now but uh, let's see what this turns out to look like yeah, I think that's good. I have found what I'm going to say is the most perfect sunflower out here right now. It's in the second row from the front. I'm actually zoomed in on it right now and it has like no damage to it it's like a perfect sunflower so i'm actually instead of going up to it i have decided to zoom in to kind of compress the scene a little bit and bring the sunflowers that are behind it closer to it so it just kind of it, it really compresses the scene and it makes it look more dense um, unfortunately i don't have a uh, a long lens so Pressing the scene to 70 millimeters is about as far as I can go. But uh, I mean, this sunflower is just absolutely perfect. Let me show you what I got. So this sunflower right here, it's almost crazy. It's like the light is hitting it different than the rest of them. Almost like I don't have to do much in post to bring it out. So I'm shooting at F11, 25th of a second. Um, about, only about a third of a stop underexposed right now, but I don't have a whole lot of the sky in there. I do have a little bit of the pink in the sky. Paying attention to my histogram. Uh, I don't want to blow anything out. Don't want to push anything too far into the shadow. But man, that flower, that, that sunflower is just, I mean, it's perfect. Beautiful. So I'd truly like to thank Baywater Farms for planting the sunflower field. It's absolutely beautiful. The local photographers love it. Just the public loves it. They can stop and take a picture of sunflowers and, uh, and they don't have to worry about being yelled at for trespassing or anything like that. Um, the public really does try to take care of it. They try not to mess up the field at all. So we got some good pictures today um, of the sunflowers, like I said. It's uh, still a struggle for me to develop my eye to, to find compositions that, that are pleasing, um, that have a subject that just doesn't, that don't look like they just came from a cell phone. And um, I think we got some good stuff today. I would really appreciate it if you guys like this channel, subscribe to it, comment below. Um, it really does kind of give me some feedback on if, uh, if I'm doing something right, if you guys are enjoying this. Um, I really do this because I enjoy photography. I enjoy sharing photography and uh you know and i would love to know if you guys enjoy it too so like comment subscribe all that good stuff and until next time